By a happy coincidence, Mexico celebrates both the beginning of spring and Benito Juarez's birthday on March 21st. This is the anniversary of the birth of the man who started a new era in the history of Mexico. President Benito Juarez is the most renowned hero in Mexico's history. One could be forgiven for thinking that his extraordinary life was the stuff of fantastical legend and myth, but his whole story is a historical fact. He won the recognition and admiration of all who loved and fought for freedom. Juarez's struggle became the will of the nation. His name was synonymous with justice and reason. Benito Pablo Juarez Garcia, the boy who would later become the second hero to free the country from oppression, was born a subject of the Spanish crown in 1806. During his childhood, he was just a humble and insignificant citizen of a decadent empire whose most treasured possession was the country known as New Spain. In his autobiography, Notes for My Children, Juarez himself describes his origins as follows. I was born on March 21st in the town of San Pablo Guelatao, in the county of Santo Tomas Ixtlán in the state of Oaxaca. I suffered the misfortune of never having known my parents, Marcelino Juarez and Brigida Garcia, who were of pure Indian blood. They died when I was barely three years old. And so, my sisters, Maria Josefa and Rosa and I, were put in the care of my grandparents, Pedro Juarez and Justa Lopez, also pure Zapotec Indians. Through their veins ran the blood of a race that had created fabulous kingdoms and sophisticated cultures whose greatness can still be seen in the palaces and temples of Mitla and Monte Alban. When Hidalgo, the freedom fighter, announced the birth of the new nation with the Grito of Dolores in 1810, the person destined to free the Mexicans from oppression for a second time was only four years old. The little orphan boy and his uncle Bernardino lovingly worked the land of the blue mountains surrounding Gelatao. Gelatao was a small village of some 20 houses ensconced in a valley full of flowers, palm trees, and with an enchanted pond. The climate in this valley was absolutely perfect. While Hidalgo and Morelos were fighting for the country's freedom and making laws to rid the country of oppression, Benito Juarez, the boy and future president, made his meager living as a shepherd. The young shepherd learned how to play a reed flute while he looked after his uncle Bernardino's flock of sheep. One day, a sheep went astray. Benito decided to run away rather than face his uncle's rage. My fear of my uncle and my natural desire to get out of there and become someone made me decide to go to Oaxaca. I arrived in the city one afternoon. After walking 56 kilometers at the age of 12 and hardly speaking a word of Spanish, he arrived at the house belonging to an Italian from Genova called Antonio Massa. This was where his sister Josefa worked as a servant. He found temporary shelter there, and 16 years later, he met the love of his life, Margarita, the owner's daughter at the same house. In his autobiography, Notes for My Children, Juarez tells how he came to live in this house. There lived at the time in the city a good and honorable man who used to bind books. His name was Don Antonio Salanueva. He took 